Hello, welcome. Rolando, my welcome. Welcome, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are evening. you today? I'm fine. fine. I'm great. Okay. I'm great. Excellent. Very good. And you, Mai, how are you? I am fine too. Okay. It's a pleasure. Welcome. Welcome, Jose. Thanks. You're welcome. How are you? Welcome. Welcome, teacher. Okay, it's a pleasure to well, say hello. Hello believe. again, right? Good evening, too. Yes, welcome, good evening, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, now we're going to start with a new section, section number four, right? Section four. And we're going to learn about questions with do and does today, right? So let's start. Let me see. Oh, wow. We still have some minutes, right? Um, just one minute. Uh, how's the work in the platform? Everything is okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. My, you, no problems in the platform? Eh, no. no. Ya lo hice todo. Lo único que Perfecto. solo en la que tuvimos problemas. No, no, okay. no todo, sino que hasta donde vamos, pero. Okay, good. Pero, ah, yo creo que lo he hecho. Okay, excellent. And you, Jose? In... En los últimos del cuatro, de, okay. número cuatro, tengo problema. What point, eh, José? Eh, el, el, no entiendo, es, no recuerdo qué punto es, pero habla sobre Cristina Aguilera. Ah, Cristina Aguilera, right. Ajá, que no entiendo a qué se refiere de ir poniendo los números del uno al ocho. Cristina Aguilera de Gómez, right. I don't know. <laughs> My wife is going to kill me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, I want to find it. I want to find it. We can, I, I guess it's a reading, Jose. I suppose it's a reading, right? But we're going to yeah, see. Yeah, it's it a later. reading. It's a reading. But I don't understand. Okay, no problem. Hello. O sea, sí, sí, oh, entiendo, en, sí entiendo la lectura. Lo que no entiendo es How to make the qué exercise. se refiere la cómo, o sea, cómo, cómo hacer el ejercicio. Excellent. No problem. We're going to make it today, right? Sí. Hello, Claudia. Welcome. Claudia Castro, right? Okay. We have. Hello. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Victor. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And Juan Alfonso, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, so let's begin, right? Let's just start early with the presentation. And I'm going to share the PowerPoint presentation for today. I want to introduce the new member of my family, look. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> eh, Polaris. Raza, raza? Maltes. Ah, Maltes. Yes. Ay, qué lindo. Es ¿Cómo se more. llama? Polar. Polar se llama. Polar, yes. <laughs> yeah, he's, tre he's tremendous. He's tremendous, right? He's very hyperactive. <laughs> Mm. Goodbye, goodbye. Bien chulo. Okay. Está chiquito. Yes, two months. No, yes, yes two, two months. months. Yeah. But it's super mischievous. Mischievous travieso, right? Mischievous. <laughs> okay, now let's begin. Um, we're going to learn about a conversation. The conversation is. Ajá, uh -huh, Roland. Ah, Tishel. excuse me. Uh, oh. it's, a, it's a boy. <laughs> Rolando, it's a boy uh, or a girl? No, boy. no, no, uh, no, no, hembra. It's a girl, okay. Pero, terrible. I imagine. How old is, is she? How old is she? Es mis, mista de, <laughs> mista. <laughs> es una, una mezcla de tres. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> but it looks beautiful. Yes. 
And how old, how old is she? How old is she, Rolando? Uh, Five months. One no. year. Cuatro. Four years or four months? Four months. Oh, yes. It's a baby. It's still right. Sí, baby. Okay. Good. Now, let's just start. Conversation. I really like pop music, right? Pop, pop, pop music. And we're going to learn about the yes, no, and WH question with do. Yes, no, and WH question with do, right? Good. Now, let's start with the with the objective, right? Uh, Mike, can you read the objective for today, please? Okay. In this lesson, participants will, will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Likes, cling, and dislikes. And, Dislike. Right? Yes. Positive, negative. Okay, likes Dislike. and dislike, right? Likes and dislike. For example, teacher Javier Gomez likes Barcelona, right? And Real Madrid, <laughs> dislike. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're going to learn the vocabulary in the conversation. Listen, in the conversation, listen. Kind. Boys, big fan, guess, a lot. Okay, only that, right? Now, please, repeat after me. Kind. Kind. Boys. Boys. Big fan. Big fan. Guess. Yes. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Good. Now, any question? Do you understand? Guess mean guess, teacher. Guess. Suppose. Supposition. Imagination. Okay. For example, I can say, I guess tomorrow it's Tuesday, right? I'm not sure, but I guess, I suppose. I guess, right? Okay. Understand? Okay. Good. Thanks. Any other word? You're welcome. Any other word that you don't understand? Okay. So let's continue, right? Now let's go to the second part. Uh, Rolando, can you read the, the objective for, for the second part, please? By the end of the lesson, participant will be able to ask questions in simple present using doors using 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 door do, does do 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 or does do or do does or does do does do does alone right? do does. <laughs> alone white w wh question work excellent alone means together right together Yes, no question with do and does, and WH questions work. The question, WH question with question words, right? What, where, when, etc., etc., right? Okay. Now let's start with the yes, no question, and WH question, right? Let's start saying what is a yes, no question, right? For example, this is one example, right? It's, it's not the question for today, but uh, it's an, one example. Are you a student? Rolando, are yes, you a student? Yes, I am. Are you a student, Jose? Yes, I am. Good. Can you speak English, Mai? Uh, yes, I can. Excellent. Victor, can you speak English? Yes, teacher, I can speak English. Excellent. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Can you yes, speak English? I yes, I can, right? Yes, I can. Do you live in San Salvador, Juan Alfonso? Yes, I live in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I do, right? Okay. Yes, I do, say. Okay, now, Alicia, do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I live in San Salvador. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, good. No, you can say, yes, I live in San Salvador, no problem. For Juan Alfonso and Alicia, it's correct. But okay. I need you to pay attention today in the, in the auxiliary, right? For example, uh, verb to be. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Can you? Yes, I can. Do you live in? Yes, I do. Right? Okay. 
Then we have information question. This question, you only say yes or no, right? But in the information, you ask specific thing. Where is my pencil, right? Victor, where is your pencil? Uh, my, pencil my pencil is on the table. Good, that's it, right? You don't say, uh, Victor don't say, where is your pencil? Uh, yes, I do. No, right? No, incorrect. So it's an information question. Claudia, what can you do, Claudia? What can you do? What are your abilities, right? What can you do? I, I can dancing. You can dance, right? You can, uh, I can dance. I can dance. Yes. Very good. Uh, when can you come, Billy? Welcome, Billy. When can you come to San Salvador, for example, right, Billy? When can you come? I can come. Billy? Parece ser que el micrófono no le está funcionando ahora, Billy. Billy? One, two, three, one, two, three, Billy, Billy. Ok, parece ser que el micrófono está fallando a Billy. Ok, pero escuché que dijo, I come to San Salvador tomorrow, creo que dijo. <laughs> ok, now let's see, let's see, José Alonso. When can you come, José Alonso? Um, I can go I can Friday. come, I can come. I can come Friday. On Friday, very On good. Friday. So, yes, no question, only yes or no. But information question, we answer specific things. Where is place, what is things, and when is time, right? Okay? So, that's the difference between yes, no question, and WH question. Que uh, uh, do you have questions about the question? Uh, Billy, no. La pregunta, teacher. Ok. Un cuestión. Negative. Ajá. Uh -huh. Negative questions o negative answers, Claudia. Claudia. Negative answer. Ah, negative answer, right. Let me see. Eh, Billy, no, no le escuchamos, Billy. Uh, no le escuchamos, así es que ni modo, tiene que, tiene que o renovar su, <ríe> su micrófono, ¿verdad? O, o, o nos escribe, ahí voy a estar yo pendiente de los mensajes, Billy, ¿ok? Good, negative. So, in negative questions are this, for example, are you a student? Yes, I am, right? And the negative could be no. I am not, right? You see? Can you speak English? Of course. Excuse me. Yes, I can, right? Yes, I can. Or no, I can't, right? Or do and does. Do, right? Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. No. No, I don't, right? I don't. Sorry. Ah. No, I don't. Okay, Claudia, look. Are you a student? No, I am not. Can you speak English? No, I can't. Do you live in San Salvador? No, I don't, right? Those are the negative answers the negative answer right but when you say information question you say what is my pencil thank you you're welcome what is my pencil you don't say yes yes or no 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 you say uh my pencil is on the table oh i don't know right i don't know only that but in the yes no question yes you can say or affirmative or negative right good any other question no teacher. No questions? 
Okay, so no. do you understand the difference between <clears throat> between yes, no question and information questions? Do you see the difference? Yes, okay, good. Yes. Now let's continue, right? Uh, and then what auxiliaries do we use in yes, no question and, and inf information question would do? Uh, we use the auxiliary do and does, right? Listen, for us Spanish speakers, it's difficult to understand the use of auxiliaries because in Spanish, we don't use auxiliaries. Mm -mm. We use the verb conjugation. Usamos la conjugación del verbo, right? In Spanish, we use the verb conjugation. Usamos la conjugación del verbo, right? But in English, they, they use auxiliaries. Auxiliaries are like the wheel in a car, right? Son como el timón en un carro. No dicen a dónde ir, right? To the right, to the left. Future, present, negative, positive, question, etc., etc., right? The auxiliary is everything when you want to, to express idea, right? So in the case of, of uh, the simple present, we use do and does, do that, right? I do, you do, we do, they do, he does, she does, it does. We use out the auxiliaries in simple present only in negative and in question, right? Okay. Let's continue, right? Yes and no question we do. Listen. The auxiliary do or does, right? The subject, the verb, and the complement. Do you like pizza? Does she live in Metapan? Now, information question we do, right? First, we have the WH word. In this case, for example, where, right? Then the auxiliary do or does. Then the subject, Maria, Pedro, Juan, I, you, he, they, right? The verb go and the complement, right? The complement, right? Okay, very good. Eh, les informo que hoy Billy y Lorena pues solo están de, de oyentes. Cualquier mensaje ahí nos escriben. Please. Now, another example, right? What does he like to eat? So what is the question word? Does is the auxiliary? And he is the subject, right? Then like is the verb. Then the complement, right? Okay, now, repeat after me, please. Microphone off. Apaguemos los micrófonos, please. Please, repeat after me. Do you like pizza? Does she live in Metapan? Okay, now, I want you to tell me some question, right? Josué Rosales, welcome, Josué. Can you give me another example, Josué, using yes, no question, please? Okay. Tell me. Do you, do you want to, to learn English? Do you want to learn English? My goodness, it's a good question, right? Appropriate for the class. Thank you, Josué. Now, Miguel Calderón, okay. Miguel, you're welcome. Now, Miguel, give me another example, please. Okay. Do you watch TV on mic? Okay, very good. That's correct, right? Noemi, another example you see in my father. My father, right? The subject in this case is my, my father. Yes, Noemi? Okay, so we're going to ask Lorena, right? Lorena, send a message, right? Mándenos un mensaje, Lorena. <laughs> okay, good. Now, information question, right? Where do they go on weekends? Luis Alberto, can you give me one example using where? 
Where do you go? ¿A dónde? I wanna know. Ok, Hello, Luis. teacher. Hello. Tell me one example using where. Where. A question, okay. right? Where are the keys? Where are the keys? That's a good example, yeah. right? But now, Luis, can you help me using a question, but in this case, using do. No, okay. No verb to be do, right? Where do she go? Where this does week? where, where does, does where does she do she go this Sunday? Very good. Where does she go this Sunday, right? Good. And now we have one example from Lorena, right? Where do you live? Uh-huh, correct. Where do you live? Good example, right? Now, using what, Eric? Can you give me one example using what, please? Hello, Eric, can you hear me? Mr. Castellanos? No, okay. Eric, yes? No. Okay. Alejandro, please give me one example using what, Alejandro? Okay, teacher. Hello. Hello. What does he, he like to go? What does he like? To go? No. No. Donde, donde... Uh -huh, but I don't want with where. I want with what. Que. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Que. What does he... Uh, like to see in the movie? Excellent. What does... What does he like to see, right? What does he like to see? Excellent, good example, right? Now, do you understand the, the, the questions here? Okay, now please, repeat after me, please. Where do they go on weekends? What does he like to eat? Okay, now let's go and make a practice, right? We have a question here, right? And then we have the answer of the question. So, Rosa, please, what is the, what is the question for, for this? Yes, no question or, or information question, Rosa? Information question. Mm, okay, wait, wait a minute. Look at the answer, right? The answer is no, right? Or it could be yes. No, yes, yes, no, yes, no. Uh huh. So, what is the question? Yes, no question or information, Rosa? Yes, no question. Yes, no question. Good. And in this case, what is the subject, Juan Alfonso? What is the subject? In the question. ¿Cuál sería el sujeto de la oración? He. He. So, with he, what is the auxiliary, right, Billy? Puede escribirnos cuál es la auxiliar, Billy. Right? Send a message in this moment. The auxiliary for the question, right? Is do or is does? Let's wait. Vamos a esperar el mensaje de Billy. Do or does? Do does. <laughs> what is the correct one, right? Ok. No llega el mensaje. Todavía. Let me, let wait. Ok. Entonces vamos a hacer una cosa, Billy. Me ayuda con la dos. Con la dos, Billy. Ok. Now, uh, 
Claudia, please. What auxiliary are you using, number one? Do or does? Does. Does. Does he? Sorry, um, sujeto. Does he take uh, coffee? Very good. Does he take coffee? Correct. Does he use coffee? Huh? Okay, good. Now, Miguel. Ah, no, no, Billy, Billy, right? Billy, number two, Billy. Billy. Bueno, todavía no hay comunicación. Ah, oh, yes, ahí está ya el mensaje. Excellent, Billy. Yes. The number two is do, correct. Excellent. Ya ve, no le funciona el micrófono, pero está en la jugada, Billy. Yes, do, right? Do. And what is the subject, Miguel? If the answer is we, si respondemos con we, ¿cuál sería el sujeto, Miguel? They. 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 Mm. <laughs> If it is they, sería, no, they don't, right? Pero no, no dice they, dice we. Cuando respondemos con we, ¿con qué es la pregunta, Miguel? You. Ah, me. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> You, thank you, Miguel. And, and no, no sé quién contestó por ahí, pero fue una chica. Okay. It's me, Ana María. Ah, Ana María. Welcome, Ana María. <laughs> <laughs> no estuve en la, la clase del examen, ¿verdad, Ana María? No. No, teacher, pero lo hice el examen. Ah, excellent. Very good. Do you. Do you. Ah, nos falta el verbo, right? Vamos a ver, Miguel, que se reivindique. ¿Cómo es? Reivindique. <laughs> Miguel. ¿Cuál es el verbo, Miguel? Have. Have. Excellent. Uh, damos en la jugada. Ya vi. Ok. Do, we, do you have children? No, we don't have any yet. Right? Todavía no hay cipotes. Está muy cara la vida. <ríe> ok. Do you have... Vamos a ver aquí. Ok. Now, number three. Josué, please. Josué, tell me the full question, please. Come on. Number three, Josué. Josué Campos. Do they live in San Salvador? Do they live in San Salvador? No. My parents live in San Miguel, right? Oh, you can say, do your parents, right? The two are correct. The one that Josué say, and do your parents live in San Salvador, right? No, my parents live in San Michael. Very good. Now, thank you, Josué. Now, who's next? Let me see. Mai, please. Number four, Mai. Mm. Do you? You. Mm. Hmm. Wait. He says, listen, my does 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 okay. hear does he does he no <laughs> no <laughs> okay I'm kidding no it's not okay qué malo no that teacher that teacher <laughs> does he does he speak English. Okay, does he speak my or does speaks, he speak? Speaks, that no, does he speaks English? With S or with no S? ¿Le ponemos la S, sí o no, my? Eh, no, con S. <laughs> no, 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 with, tell me, please. With S. Con la S, le falta la S ahí. Sure, ¿está segura, my? Does he speak English, no. No, right. Why not? ¿Por qué no? Es porque aquí tenemos el auxiliar. ¿ve? Cuando usamos el, aux... el auxiliar. Con ese. Con ese. Con ese. Does he speak English? No, without ese. Sin ese. Mm -hmm. <ríe> Sin ese, porque mm -hmm. estamos usando el auxiliar, right? 
Y siempre que usamos el auxiliar, no es necesario ponerle la S al, a las terceras personas, right? Okay. Pero al final sí, ve. cuando ya está en positivo, yes, uh -huh. my son speaks, right? My son speaks. Okie doki, any question? No questions? Ladies and gentlemen, let's continue, right? Let's continue. Practice, right? WH question. Esta está un poco más difícil, but come on. Let's, just, let's try. Uh, let's raise your hand, please. Pónganme su manita los que quieran participar. Vamos a ver quién pone primero la manita. Number one. Ah, en vivo la puso Rolando. <laughs> ok, Josué number two. Josué, Rolando one. Josué two. Josué... Eh... Oh, sorry. Josué Campos, sorry. Josué Campos, number two. Rolando, number one. Luis Alberto, eh, number three. Luis, Luis Alberto, three, right? Eh, number four, solo me falta uno. ¿Quién de las chicas? Nadie quiere participar. Come on. Mujeres al poder, right? No. Come on, girls. ¿Qué pasa con las chicas? Bueno, entonces... Uno de los ah, Ana María. Thank you, Ana María. Number four, Ana María. Okay, now, Rolando, let's begin with number four. Number one, sorry. Number one. What do you father? What do you father? What? Okay, let's go back to the structure, right? Rolando, let's go back to the structure. The structure is WH word, right? WH word. Auxiliary. Your father. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Auxiliary. Subject. Allá tenemos el sujeto en, el, en la pregunta que estamos trabajando, ¿verdad? Es my father, right? Ya lo tenemos. Lo que nos falta yes. es este, esta WH word. Oh, okay. What, where, when, who, etc. El auxiliar nos falta, el auxiliar. Y el verbo, right? El verbo, right? Ah, ok, ahí estamos. Ahora regresemos al ejercicio. What? ¿Qué nos what falta, do you Rolando? father? Do. Do. Uh -huh. But do. what is your father, eh, Rolando? Is a he, she, they, we. What is your father? What pronoun is? Is. So sorry? Is. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Pronoun. He, no. she, they, we. Was he your father? He, he, correct. Wait, wait, wait. Was he, he your father? No, wait, wait. Relax, Rolando. Okay. Your father is a he. So, for he, we use do or does? Do. Mm -hmm. Do he? Or does he, Rolando? Let's go back, right? Regresemos entonces acá. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Look, me... he, he does. Ah, okay. That, right? Okay, don't forget that. That is like yes. the ABC, like the alphabet, right? One, two, three, ABC. One, two, three. So he does. They do. Does. I do. She does. Pedro does. Firulais does, right? Okay, like this. Immediately. Does. What does Entonces sería, your father? What does your father? Uh -huh. Y nos falta el verbo. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Cuando hablamos de ocupaciones. Aquí contestamos con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Pero la pregunta la hacemos con el do y el does. What does uh, your father? Do. Do, correct. What does your father do? ¿Qué hace tu papá? Right? Josué Campos, please. San, San oh. Ana. Sorry, San Ana. Santa Ana, ah. right? <laughs> okay, ajá, uh -huh, Josué. Where? Ajá, uh, uh -huh, where? Where do, where do your brother live? Where do your brothers live? My goodness, Josué, thank you. Perfect, right? Where do your brothers live? Why do? Because brothers is plural, right? 
Ok, they live in Santa Ana, right? el sucursal del cielo, dicen algunos por ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. Very good. Aunque yo no le voy al FAS, pero Santa Ana es muy bonito. Number three. Number three. ¿Quién me dijo que la tres? Ya me perdí. Sorry, help me. Me, teacher, Luis. Ah, Luis, yes, Luis. Thank you, Luis. Number three. And four, Ana María, right? Ok, Luis. Okay. When do you visit? Excellent. When. Do you visit your parent, right? <clears throat> I visit them every weekend. Perfect, my goodness. Ya no necesito dar esta clase. Ustedes ya lo saben todo. Come on. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. Now, please, Ana María. Reloaded. Ana María está recargada con todo. Ha venido. Yes, teacher. Come on. Where does your ah. sister live? Where does your sister live? My goodness. Perfect, right? Perfect score. Where does your sister live? That's it, right? What does your father do? Let me see. Where does your brother live? <laughs> um, sorry, perdonen que me esté riendo, pero es que se me activa el Siri <laughs> y me dice: No hay nadie en tus contactos que se llame Guerda Chile. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Now, these are the questions: What does your father do? Where do your brothers live? When do you visit your parents? Where does your sister live? Right, come on, let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. What does your father do? He's a doctor. Where do your brothers live? They live in Santa Ana. When do you visit your parents? I visit them every weekend. Where does your sister live? She lives next to my house. Good. Again, notice that I don't add the S, right? No le agregamos la S. Acá, porque tenemos el auxiliar das, right? Siempre que ven el auxiliar das, nunca le agreguen la S al verbo. Solo en afirmativo y con she, he, and it, right? Nunca me van a poner, they lives, <laughs> they lives. No, no, they live, we live, I live, you live. But she lives, he lives, right? In afirmative, only in afirmative, right? So, any question about information question? And just no question with do. No? Sure? Okie dokie. So let's go to the platform, right? Vámonos a la plataforma entonces. Yes. Así. Hoy no, no, no le hemos dado participación a Abel, ¿verdad? Ya vamos a buscarle preguntas a Abel para que nos conteste. Ok, let me see. Aquí estamos. Compartir. Right? Ok. Conversation 4.1, right? 4.1. I really like pop music. Pop, 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 pop music. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section 4. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? 
Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Celine Dion, right? Remember Celine Dion? And a famous song, right? Near, far, wherever you go. Okay. You imagine the, the Titanic, right? <laughs> and Leonardo DiCaprio, Ken Winsley, right? Okay, good. Now, uh, I have this conversation, right? In this conversation, I have um, like, let me see, one, two, three. Yes, no question, right? Three, yes, no question. Volunteers who tells me one, yes, no question, we do or does in the conversation. Raise your hand, please. Hands up. La manita ahí en el Zoom. <laughs> examples, examples of yes, no question we do in the conversation, right? No? Come on, Luis. One example, Luis. Do you like rap? Perfect. Do you like rap? This is one example of. Oops, sorry. Oops. Excuse me. This is one example of a yes, no question with do, right? Another example. Does he play the piano? Does he play the piano? That's another example with yes, no question. Then you say, do you like rap? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, right? One more, please. Girls, la chica, ¿dónde están? Where are the women? Do you like doing her? Do you like her? Mm -hmm. Her? Por ahí me contestaron dos, Claudia y no sé quién más, pero ahí Ana María. Creo. <laughs> okay, good. So, do you like her? Mm -hmm. ¿Te gusta ella? Do you like her? Good, that's it, right? Now, one example of information question with do. Information question with do. I don't like pop music very much. No, that is not a question. Esa no es una pregunta. Tenía que ser. Con Who's, este, who's, who's your favorite singer? Yes. This is an information question, but I'm using is. Aquí estoy usando is. No, no quiero eso. So what kind of music do you like? Very good. What kind of music do you like? like, like. ¿Qué tipo de música le gusta, right? For example, uh, Billy likes reggaeton, for example, right? Uh, Juan Alfonso likes cumbione, right? Okay. Miguel Canderón, uh, reggaeton. No, no, I'm no. <laughs> no. Oops. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're going to practice the conversation. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very no, no, wait, much. Wait, 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 wait. Only repetition, right? Repetition. Thank you. Thank you very much. Y vamos a apagar nuestros micrófonos por un ratitito nada más. Okay, now please repeat. Repeat. Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. I think I know him. 
Does he play the piano? The piano. Ok. Esto es como decir, Kim Flick toca ópera, right? <ríe> Un pecado similar. <ríe> ok, the piano. No, he doesn't. He's a singer. When I say Kim Flick, right? Rolando will say, ah, my favorite music. <ríe> ok. I'm kidding. Come on, repeat after me. Oh, I guess, I guess, I don't know much, I don't know much about rap. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? ¿Qué tipo de música, right? Now, please, I really like pop music. I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Favorite singer. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. I don't like pop music very much. Now, we are going to listen to the audio and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? Repeat, please. Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Any question? No questions? Okie dokie. So we're going to practice, right? Uh, let me see. Abel, please. Abel, you are Tom and Noemi. Hello, Noemi. 
No se escucha. Yes, sí, oh, yes, 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 yes. Ok, very good, right? Es que anteriormente quizá no le funcionaba el micrófono, ¿verdad? No a mí. Sí, es que se me congeló la computadora, ah, no pude abrir. Okay. Sí, está bien. No la meta la refri, no a mí, please. <laughs> ok, Abel. You are later. You are Tom and, and Noemi. You are Liz, right? Ready? One, yes, teacher. two, three. Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano. No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess. I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. My goodness, congratulations. Good pronunciation, right? Now, let me see who's going to help me. Josué Rosales and Ana Maria, ladies and gentlemen. Josué, you are Tom and Ana Maria. And Marie, and Marie, you are Liz, right? Ana Maria in English is and Marie, right? Come on, go ahead. Okay. Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. Um, a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So... What kind of music do you like? I, re I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. My goodness. Today you are very filudos, right? Excellent. Good pronunciation, right? And now the last one, right? Porque si no me van a aburrir mucho. Mucho, solo vamos a practicar dos más. Eh, Luis Alberto en Alicia. Ah, yes, ya había levantado las manos Luis Alberto. Very good, Luis. Thank you. Now. Luis en Alicia. Ready? One, two, three. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm very, I'm a very fan of Eminem. I think I know he does the, perdón, does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He is a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop. I, pardon. I don't like pop music very much. Thank you very much, right? And listen, he says, I don't like it. I don't like it very much, right? La it is a substitution of rap, right? I don't like rap or I don't like it very much, right? And then I say, I'm a big fan of Eminem, right? In my case, I'm a big fan of Flea Good Mac and the Beatles, right? I love them. I'm a big fan, you know, it's that you like something very much. Good. Any extra question? Tomorrow we're going to read the commentary, right? But today we're going to finish the class with uh, the video. Yes, no questions. And that is question we do, right? Let's pay attention, please. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does, along with WH question words. 
we will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes-no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you, too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does? Do. Does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. So, to finish the class today, right, we are going to, to go to, just give me a second here, uh, the, the board, right? I will share the board with you. And I want you to pay attention in the difference between subject pronouns and object pronoun, right? No sé si expliqué esto la vez pasada en el examen. No, right? Bueno, lo vamos, a, vamos a repasar. Ya que Ana María no lo escuchó la vez pasada, entonces vamos a hacerlo. Okay, listen. We have here the subject pronoun, right? Subject pronoun. Uy, estaba pidiendo una, una palabra bien fea, me estaba leyendo. Subject pronoun, right? Eh, and object pronouns. Object pronouns. Capital A, right? That's it, right? Okay, now, the subject pronouns are I. The object pronoun for I is me. You. You, right? He, him, she, her, it, it, they, them. And we, us, right? So when I say subject, is the one that makes the action, right? An object is the one that receives. Subject is the one that makes the action. And the object is the one that receives the action, right? Give and receive. Give is subject, receive is object, right? One example could be, right? Uh, he 
gives her the money. Right? Él le da el dinero a ella, right? So he, the subject, we can say, for example, uh, Rolando, right? Gives her, pongámosle, a la mamá le da un dinero, pongámosle, ¿verdad? Okay. What's the name of your mother, Rolando? No. No, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, one sister. <laughs> No sister. Yes, yes. Name? Uh, Maria. Maria, right. Okay. Maria. Rolando give Maria the money, right? Rolando le da el dinero a Maria. So Rolando is the subject, right? El que hace la acción, right? And Maria is the one that receives. She receives the money, right? <laughs> Substitution again. Rolando is a he, and Maria is her, right? Notice that I don't say, he gives she the money, no. She gives her, because the object pronoun for she is her, right? Good. Any question? Before we finish the class? No questions? Okay. No. Thank you very much. Have a good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. The show is over. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>